What's up everybody, welcome back to another episode of BH Brewing. In this episode we were meant to be tasting that chocolate vanilla coffee porter slash stout. Uh, unfortunately we can't do that. Why? Because we've developed a CO2 leak. So to give you a bit of backstory on this, I had one keg left over in my kegerator that had been sat in there, one empty keg, which we were going to put the uh, port uh, slash stout into. Uh, but when I checked my uh, CO2 level, for whatever reason, it was empty. And I just thought maybe the kind of CO2 has all been used up with this other beer. I did, you know, CO2 fully gas up that beer, carbonate it fully, and I'd also be using it for serving pressure. So I thought maybe that's the reason it was empty. Anyhow, this was just before Christmas, so I knew we were going to be kegging this uh, porter slash stout. So I thought, okay, I'll get a refill on the CO2, needed it anyway. Got the refill on the CO2, perfect. Put it in, went to obviously keg our uh, porter slash stout, uh, pressurized that, you know, carbonated it up, sorry, um, and then just hooked it up, waited uh, probably a couple of weeks, and obviously to today where I was going to do the, this, the, um, this, the tasting video. Um, and then when I went to the tasting video, I checked the CO2 and it's empty. So we've obviously got a leak, as I said, in there somewhere, but whereabouts it is, I've got no idea. So uh, I've looked up a few YouTube tutorials, of course. We're on the world of YouTube here, and to try and find this leak. Um, so yeah, this video is going to be about finding that leak. Not the most exciting video in the world, but hey, let's give it a go, huh? See if we can find this leak. If you've seen one of our videos before, then you would have seen the, uh, the kegerator. Uh, made this myself. It's just a simple fridge, beer tap on top, uh, two corny kegs, um, and just some equipment really to, to make this thing work. Um, this is the fresh CO2 tank that I got today. Uh, this is full up, so um, hopefully we won't lose too much of this while we're trying to figure out our leak. Uh, I first need to connect uh, this piece of pipe up to our regulator here, and this piece of pipe goes into our manifold, which you can't see, which is off the screen. Um, so that's gonna be the first thing. I'm gonna plug this into our manifold, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these two um, ball lock disconnects, which as you can see here, this is one for each keg. I'm gonna pop these in some water. Um, now, if we have any issues with the kind of connecting ends of these where the gas is escaping, then that'll be apparent pretty quickly when soon as we dip them in water. I know people at home are looking at that and going, well, you haven't got, you haven't got a bloody uh, a clamp on the end of it. No wonder it's leaking gas. Yes, 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 I know. Um, but previously, I've had this for a year and never had any problems. But you're probably right. I, if I had clamps, this probably might not be leaking. I don't know. But we're going to put it in the bucket of water anyway and see if there's any air coming out. And if there is air coming out, then we know that that's where the problem is. We can solve it. My worry is that that's not the issue, um, and then we've got you know even more of a difficult task to try and find out where this leak's coming from. But anyway, we'll hook this uh, regulator up and CO2 canister to our manifold, and see if we can figure out where this air is coming from. Right, we have our bottle of water. Um, both of these uh, ball lock disconnects are hooked up to the gas, and both the manifolds are turned. So I'm just going to stick this in the bucket of water and see if we get anything. No, it doesn't look like anything. Can't really see anything coming out of that one. So we don't think it's the ends of these at least. Or end of this one anyway. Alright, so it's not that. So far so good. Or maybe so far so bad, because that means it could be the keg. <laughs> Let's try this one. Again. Same, nothing coming out of that, no air bubbles at all. So, we know it's not any of the end of the disconnects, so that is something, I suppose. Um, but that means it's probably the keg, <laughs> which I really didn't want it to be. Or it could be the manifold, but more than likely the keg. Um, so, what I'll do now is uh, fill up a spray bottle with some water and some soap, and then just spray it all around the keg with it pressurised to see if we can see any uh, leaks coming from the keg. Um, I expect it would probably be one of the seals on either the post or the kind of main um, opening to it, but we shall soon find out. So this is uh, one of the first kegs, this is an empty keg. Um, as you see I've already sprayed it a little, I'll just do it again just so you can see. Um, I can't seem to see any bubbles or anything signifying there would be a leak anywhere on this one. Now I'll pressurise this to 20 psi and as you can see 
no bubbles, no visible air bubbles to that I can see coming out of this one. So this keg looks okay. Okay, so this is keg number two. We're going to do exactly the same thing with this. Uh, this has been pressurized to 30 psi, more than I would usually pressurize it. But just hopefully, we might see something on here in terms of any air bubbles that will give us a clue to where the leak is. well and truly coated um, as you can see I can't really see again any bubbles of air nothing that's really obvious that's coming out of here <sighs> damn now I really am stumped I, you know so when I put those um, ball lock disconnects in the water it wasn't that I thought it would have been the kegs but we're getting nothing coming out of either of these kegs when we sprayed them, so yeah, really run out of options and trying to figure out what the hell is going on and why we're leaking CO2 and where from. Okay, so the other thing really I can check is the uh, manifold inside, which I'll do now. And obviously, the um, thingamajig, I completely forgot what it's called. Uh, <laughs> but Again, looking at them, I can't really see any kind of... Oh, wait. Have oh, I discovered a leak? Oh, I think I might have. It is very, very small, and it's at the top of my uh, manifold, uh, line to my manifold. There is some tiny bubbles coming out of there. Um, wow. If I hadn't looked in detail and I had this light in, I probably wouldn't have seen those. Um, I'll grab the other lens and get a close up so you can see this, but this is very unusual because I've not really done anything. This manifold came as is. Um, I've just installed it and kind of really left it. I've not played about with it, but you can see there is some definite bubbles coming from there. So I'll get the other lens just so you can see this up close. So there it is, you can see it. It's very, very minute but that is definitely where our air bubble and our air is escaping, our CO2 is escaping. So, we found a solution. Well, found a problem, <laughs> now we've got to fix it. Uh, this is obviously, manifold is stuck hard to the side of this fridge, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to, to fix this, and uh, I'll report back the, uh, the fix later. Okay, so here is the uh, manifold. I've now fixed it. As you can see, uh, line two has given us the issue, so I've tightened that up. I tried to tighten line one, that wouldn't tighten anymore. So um, line one wasn't giving us any issues, but line two was. So we'll see what this is like now. So what I'll do is I'll hook this manifold um, up to uh, the gas, and then I'm gonna put it in our bucket of water, and then we'll see from there if we've got any leaks. Hopefully not, fingers crossed. All right, that's pressured, um, that's set at 10 PSI. And look, we have no bubbles. So that, oh wait, there's a little bubble come up then. Oh no, there is bubbles. Oh, I thought we sorted it. As you can see, there's little tiny bubbles there that are coming up to the surface. And they're very, very small, but they are there. Ah, oh, you bastard. Right then, here is the gas manifold. This is obviously the male end, this is obviously the female end. Um, and as you can see, this is what was causing the issue and causing our air leaks. Now, it was only a minute air leak, but you imagine that air coming out over time, over a month or so, you lose a lot of CO2, which you don't particularly want to lose. Um, so I now have to figure out a solution to this. Um, now, I bought this and a bunch of other stuff from Cake Kingdom. Um, if you have a uh, looking to buy anything homebrew wise or anything for your kegs, don't go to Keg Kingdom, they're fucking awful. Take weeks to dispatch your orders, don't reply to emails, and then they ship you crap like this with breaks. Um, so, yeah, I'm not overly impressed with them, I'm not overly impressed with this manifold. Uh, but we will try and find a solution. So, um, one thing that I've read online is people using a PTFE or 
PFTE tape, one of them. <laughs> so the, the F and the T are one way around, I can't remember which. Um, so that's the idea. Um, the idea is you put the tape kind of around the thread there, and then obviously we'll uh, screw, kind of screw that back into the into the hole. Um, and I've read that does stop some leaks. So I'm tempted to try that and see how that goes in the short term. But I think eventually in the long term, what I'm going to need to do is replace this manifold completely. I'm a bit reluctant to do that because they're not overly cheap they're about 40 quid per manifold so and this is just a two line one i don't particularly need a you get three or four line ones but i need obviously two lines because i get two cakes um so you know 40 quid doesn't seem like a, like a lot of money but i can buy a roll of tape that's five five quid i mean makes sense to try that first and see if it works so we'll go out into the local hardware store we'll get some uh, tape we'll give that a try uh, and then we'll see if that works okay so hopefully you can see this i've uh, managed to get myself some ptfe tape or pfte <laughs> i can never remember which way it goes around uh managed to get myself some of that and i've uh, just put it around uh basically the thread that goes into this uh this uh, manifold so it's on the screw bit here just wrapped around a couple of times put it on there um, hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> uh, this will be enough to fix the problem um, so I'll hook this up to the gas now we'll uh, test it out about 20 psi put it in this bucket of water and fingers crossed uh, there'll be no bubbles let's find out shall we so I'll just pop that in there for the time being uh, hook this up to my gas cylinder is in. So open this. Make sure it's on. Yeah. Open this bad boy up. All the way. And then let's turn this to 20. That's 10. Okay, 20 psi. I'm just going to move this so we can see. I don't want to be too preemptive because remember last time I said, yeah, there's no bubbles, and there was. Um, but that looks pretty good. Looks like there's no bubbles there whatsoever. I can see no bubbles kind of forming on the outside. So that to me seems like a good seal. So there's me thinking I'm going to have to spend 40 quid on getting a new manifold. And by the looks of it, I think this PTFE tape has sold it. He says, is that a bubble there? If I can open that, let's just a quick shake, make sure. Hmm. I thought I might just saw a bubble, so I'm just going to wait a second and make sure there's nothing coming up on the outside of that. I'm quite surprised how well this PTFE tape works. Um, you know, thinking I'd have to buy a new manifold, and for this, this actually does work, and which it looks like it is. I can't see any bubbles because you'd see, obviously, in around where the area is, there'd be some bubbles there, and I can't see any. So. That looks like we have solved the problem. Um, obviously, this is, of course, uh, a short-term solution. I'll just uh, brighten this up. You probably couldn't see that, actually. <laughs> there we go. Now you can definitely see. Um, yeah, so it looks like there's no bubbles there. So it's obviously a short-term solution, but one in the, in the uh, short term will do us. Um, I can't see any bubbles coming out of there. Nothing that is significant, at least, anyway. So, well, no bubbles at all, really. So yeah, happy days. That is our problem solved. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit the like button down there. And if you want to see more content like this, me tasting beers, me brewing beers, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Cheers.